Hello and welcome to my training. Chuck Holmes here, network marketing professional. What I'd like to do today is talk about creating a strong team culture in your network marketing business. We're going to talk about what it is, why you need to do it, and I'll share some of my best tips for success. So this is the definition that I found of culture online. It says culture encompasses the shared beliefs, values, customs, traditions, behaviors, and practices that characterize a particular group of people, organization, or society. It's a complex and multifaceted concept that includes how individuals within a group perceive the world, interact with each other, and interpret their experiences. So our world is filled with culture, and within the whole world, there are many little subcultures. There are, as a simple example, 49ers fans. There are Mets fans. There are certain religious groups, and all of these cultures have different rituals, different beliefs, different values, values, different customs. And the reason they do well is because people want to be part of something. Remember that if you get nothing else out of today's training, remember that people want to be part of something bigger than themselves. When it comes to network marketing, you want to create a culture that is positive. You want a culture that is encouraging, where people feel appreciated, where they feel like they're part of something. People may join for the money, but they're going to stay or leave because of how they feel and how you make them feel. And are, do they feel appreciated? Do they feel respected? Do they feel important? If you can do that, you will have a much higher retention in your organization. So what I've got here are 10 of my best tips to help you create a culture within your own team. Now, you may be part of someone else's team as well, and they probably have their own team culture. But as you're building your own team, you can put your own personality, your own style to it. So let's get into it. Number one is regular meetings. And your meetings should be fun. They should be educational. They should be entertaining. People should look forward to coming to your meetings. These could be live meetings, virtual meetings, conference calls, webinars. I do believe that meetings make you money in this business. And by having regular meetings, people can plug in. They can learn new skills. They can rub elbows with other people in the business who are serious, who are getting good results, who are crushing it, and they can feel like they're part of something. Number two is recognition and rewards. It's important to do contests for your team. You can have contests that everyone can participate in. You don't just want contests for your high achievers. You want something that everybody can accomplish. You want to make sure that you do a lot of recognition and rewards. It doesn't have to cost you a lot of money, but you want to be very generous with the praise, with the feedback, with the public recognition. You want to recognize people for signing up their first person, for getting their first no-show, for having their first person quit, all of those things. Because what you recognize, people will do more of that behavior. And people, most people anyway, they don't get recognized at their house, at home, at their job. So if you can make them feel appreciated with honest, sincere recognition, it goes a long ways. Number three, getting started training. It's imperative that you have a standardized getting started training for your team. You want your new person to know exactly what they need to do to build a business. It doesn't mean they're going to do it and go out and build a business, but you need to have that standardized training there so that if they want to build a business, they know what they need to do. This could be a simple YouTube video. You could have it on a website. It could be in your Facebook group. That takes us to number four. You need to lead by example. The person creating the culture, the person leading the group, they need to be a strong personal example for their team. They need to have conviction about the business. They need to be a product of the product. They need to be plugged into their plugged in upline. They need to do the things that they want their team members to do. Next, we have to share your vision whenever possible. As a leader, your biggest thing or most important thing that you can do with your team is to get them to see the big picture to share the vision. Where are you headed? Where's the company headed? How are they part of that? How can they help the company get there? Where do they fall into that bigger scheme of things? Very important when, to share your vision whenever possible. That is what CEOs do. That is what strategic business people do. They have a vision and they share that vision with as many people as they can. Next thing you can do is you can have a team name. We are uh, the LG runners and my team. Doesn't really matter what your name is. Pick a name for your team. You can have coffee mugs made. You can have shirts made. You can have buttons made. You can have customized pens made. And when you go to events, you can all wear your apparel and you can be unified as a team. Remember, people want to be part of something. Go back to sports for a minute. 
Think about a typical Sunday afternoon here in the United States. People put on, at least during football season, people put on the jersey of their favorite team. They wear the hat when they go out grocery shopping. They have all their friends over. Everyone's wearing their jersey. They're cheering for their favorite team. They probably have their own certain chant. That is culture. That is what you want to instill into your own team. Next, we have number seven. Treat everyone with respect, regardless of their performance. Treat your customer just as good as you treat your most serious person. Make everyone feel appreciated. Never pressure people to do more with the business than they want to. Just meet them where they're at, love on them, and make them feel like an important part of the team. Next thing we have is to teach skills. This is number eight. If you want a good culture in your team, your training that you do on these regular meetings should be skills-based. Hype and motivation will only get you so far in this business. People need to know what to do, what to say, how to overcome objections, how to close prospects, how to launch their new distributors. So make sure you're teaching those basic seven skills that we talk about in network marketing that you need to master to be a network marketing professional. Number nine is to encourage personal development. You want to encourage people on your team to constantly improve. You want them to read books, listen to podcasts, watch YouTube videos, counsel with their plugged in upline, attend events, anything that can make them a better leader, a better person, a better distributor in the company. Remember, your business will only grow as much as you do. And finally, number 10, you want to maintain a positive atmosphere. You want a no whining, no bitching, no complaining team uh, and zone where people encourage each other, they uplift each other, they bring out the best in each other. There's enough negativity in the world. You don't need that in your team. Your team should be the one place everybody can come and visit and they can get recharged, they can get uplifted, they can feel like they're part of something, they can get that extra boost of motivation that they need to be successful. The bottom line is your team probably already has a culture. I just hope it's the culture that you want to deliberately create for your team. So analyze all the things you can do and are currently doing in your team. Look for things that you can improve. Look for things that you need to stop doing. Identify things you need to do more of. Maybe evaluate yourself in each one of these 10 areas. Ask yourself, what am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? How can I improve? Get a few of your other leaders on board and make sure that all the leaders on your team are unified. That is probably one of my best tips I can share with you. If the three, four, five, six most serious people in your team are all unified, you're on the same sheet of paper, you have the same mission, the same vision, your team will be unstoppable and you will attract other people to your team. I appreciate you watching today's training. If you got some value from this, you can check out the links and the resources in the description box below this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I do try to post a new video just about every day. So please check back often. And with that, don't forget to check out my website, onlinemlmcommunity.com. We're one of the largest blogs in the world about network marketing. We have over 1,200 articles that you can read about network marketing. I appreciate you stopping by today. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you on the other side.